God, you don't have to sit there and say, look at all my righteous deeds, God. Because no matter what you've done, your righteous deeds will never be enough. But if you stand up before him and say, I have no righteousness of my own, but Jesus Christ died for me, he can look at you and he's going to say, I don't see you in your sins. I see my son. Come on into my kingdom. Come and enter into my rest. That's the good news of the gospel, that there is a transaction that has taken place, that we who could never pay the price we owe him can go to him and receive the gift of him paying the price for us. We broke God's law. Jesus Christ paid our fine. And we can appropriate that gift, and we can be saved from the very wrath of the God that we've committed the crimes against. There's a peace accord being held out to you. It's a treaty. It was written in his blood. And it is available to you if you will turn to him. But you got to be willing to turn to him. The Bible says that God resists the proud, but he gives grace to the humble. If you can humbly come to him, he will save you. Even that guy there. We're all available to it. Folks, if I were to rack up my sins against his, I'd have him beat by a thousand miles, I can promise. If God can save me, he can save anyone. So, folks, that's the news of the gospel. I'm going to turn the corner over to these guys now. They've been patient. Let me do this. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you.